Despite Sylvester Stallone's statement about retiring from the Rambo franchise, there's ongoing speculation about a possible Rambo 6. Stallone has a history of revisiting characters he previously claimed to retire, as seen with Rambo himself. Rambo first appeared in 1982's First Blood and became an iconic action hero of the 1980s. After Rambo 3 in 1988, it seemed the franchise was over until Stallone revived it in 2008 and again over a decade later in 2019 with Rambo Last Blood. Given the franchise's two comebacks, it's no surprise that questions about Rambo 6 persist. Stallone's other iconic characters, like Rocky Balboa and Barney Ross from The Expendables, have also made returns beyond their supposed final appearances. Many loyal fans are hopeful that the title Last Blood wasn't accurate. While the chances of a Rambo 6 release date announcement are slim, there have been some ideas circulating about the sequel since Rambo Last Blood, making the return of John Rambo, whether played by Stallone or not, far from impossible. For a new Rambo movie to succeed, it must surpass its predecessors, like the iconic First Blood. One significant difference is the need for a storyline that not only captures the thrilling action but also delves into the complexities of Rambo's character. The 2008 Rambo film, for instance, portrays Rambo in isolation, emphasizing his silent yet formidable nature. The challenge for a new installment is to create a narrative that surpasses the previous films while exploring the deeper facets of Rambo's psyche. First Blood, adapted from David Morrell's novel, presents a more sympathetic Rambo, contrasting the more complex character in the book. The movie hints at Rambo's culpability in the violence, especially through Troutman's character, suggesting he may have sought an excuse to return to war. This adds a layer of nuance to the character and storyline, which a new Rambo movie should aim to achieve. The 2008 Rambo film introduces the idea of Rambo's return to action after years of isolation in Thailand. The dynamics with the mercenaries highlight the duality of his character, transitioning from a seemingly ordinary boatman to a formidable force when necessary. The memorable lines from the films, such as Troutman's warning about rescuing someone from Rambo rather than the other way around, contribute to the depth of the narrative. These lines not only showcase the action, but also provide insight into the complex relationships and moral dilemmas faced by the characters. Rambo 6 needs a compelling storyline that surpasses previous movies, explores the intricate facets of Rambo's character, and maintains the delicate balance between thrilling action and reflective commentary on the character's journey. As per Stallone's recent interview, it's clear that there is still a demand for Rambo 6. However, the 77-year-old actor has humorously cited his age and potential battles with arthritis as reasons why he's not inclined to reprise the role of John Rambo. Despite this, Rambo 6 has not been officially confirmed and there are no plans to greenlight a sequel to 2019's Rambo Last Blood. Given Stallone's reluctance, the possibility of Rambo 6 moving forward may rely on a reboot or remake with a different actor in the lead role. The idea of recasting John Rambo raises questions about who could fill Stallone's shoes. Speculative options include contemporary action stars like John Cena, Alan Richson, or even Henry Cavill, each bringing a unique interpretation to the character. Regarding the potential storyline for Rambo 6, there are two main directions it could take. It might follow the events of Rambo Last Blood, exploring new challenges for the character similar to the original First Blood. Alternatively, it could delve into a prequel, showcasing Rambo's experiences during the Vietnam War and his transformation from an all-American golden boy to a broken warrior. Another option could be revisiting the cancelled version of Rambo 5, developed by Stallone and David Morrell. Realistically, considering Stallone's apparent conclusion with the character, a reboot seems the most likely plot direction for Rambo 6. While Stallone's performance played a significant role in making the character iconic, other action franchises have successfully navigated cast changes. Reimagining the story of John Rambo with a new actor could provide a fresh perspective and meet the continued demand for more adventures in the Rambo franchise. Producers Kevin King Templeton and Les Weldon 
have provided a positive but cautious update on the possibility of Rambo 6, indicating that it could still happen under certain conditions. Stallone's iconic character, John Rambo, made his debut in 1982's First Blood and has been a recurring figure in the actor's career, with the apparent swan song in 2019's Rambo Last Blood. During an interview about their new project, Expendables 4, the producers discussed the potential revival of Rambo. Weldon mentioned that they are open to the idea, but certain conditions need to be met. He emphasized the importance of fan demand, and if there is significant interest, they would consider moving forward with the project. The success and demand for the Expendables franchise serve as an example of how fan enthusiasm can drive decisions in the world of action films. The interview also addressed the age factor, acknowledging that Stallone, at 77, may be too old to realistically play an action hero. The mention of de-aging technology, as seen in Harrison Ford's return to Indiana Jones, suggests a potential avenue for Stallone's involvement. However, the financial constraints of de-aging may make it a less realistic option for a Rambo 6 project. Another option explored in the interview is the potential for a Rambo prequel where a new actor could portray a young version of the character before the events of First Blood. Stallone has expressed interest in this concept, delving into Rambo's early life and experiences in Vietnam. While Rambo Last Blood provided what seemed like an appropriate ending for the character, the producers seem willing to consider bringing him back if there is sufficient demand from fans and financiers. The possibility of Rambo 6 remains uncertain, but the producers remain open to exploring ways to resurrect the character, whether through a sequel, prequel, or another creative avenue, depending on the level of interest from the audience. In this reflective moment, Rambo, despite his reputation as a formidable killing machine, acknowledges the toll his life has taken. His warning to a missionary emphasizes the internal conflict he grapples with, portraying him as a reluctant hero burdened by the consequences of a violent past. Known for his minimalistic speech, Rambo's blunt expression highlights a stark contrast between his worldview and the optimism of the missionaries. This moment adds a touch of dark humor, showcasing the character's straightforward approach in navigating a world he perceives differently. In the latest installment, Last Blood, Rambo's personal side emerges as he seeks vengeance for his niece's death. The climactic confrontation underscores the raw intensity and emotion that Last Blood brings to the franchise, showcasing Rambo's unwavering commitment to justice. The opening act of First Blood introduces Rambo's conflict with Sheriff Teasel, hinting at the escalating chaos that follows. Rambo's question, delivered with a sense of sadness, foreshadows the impending conflict and reflects his desire for solitude in the face of unwarranted aggression. Rambo's threatening one-liners are a trademark, and in Last Blood, he delivers a promise of vengeance. This emphasizes his action-oriented approach, distinguishing him from heroes who rely on clever quips. Teasel's rhetorical question reflects on the enigma of John Rambo. The answer, provided by Colonel Troutman, unveils the government's role in shaping Rambo into a lethal force, showcasing the character's complex origin story. Across multiple films, John Rambo's character journey explores internal conflict, justice, and the harsh realities of a violent past. From reluctant heroism to cynical yet humane facets, each moment adds to his complexity. Rhetorical questions in First Blood probe the enigma, while Rambo Last Blood concludes with a tragic yet enduring narrative, defining the franchise's mix of introspection, action, and social commentary. And that's what concludes today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Feel free to share your suggestions for future videos in the comments below.